everybody, Brad Greenfield here for another edition of Tech Time. Today what we're going to be talking about is actually going to be part of another three-part series. And what we're going to do is utilize a program called Google Docs. A lot of you are probably familiar with it or, or have heard about it. We're going to utilize Google Docs to create a form or specifically a survey that we can put on our SharePoint sites uh, so that they can be accessible by the public. Uh, you know, maybe we do a meeting and we need people to fill out a survey. We can send them give them a link or email a link out for this survey. We could also create a email form. So if we want to put on one of our websites, or one of our website pages, uh, for more information, please contact or um, you know, an ask an expert type situation. So, uh, but we want these to actually live on our, our SharePoint site so that people aren't redirected to another site, just builds a little bit more, um, I guess, secure feeling of being on our website. So starting from a Google browser here, I'm just going to type in Google Docs, click enter, and I'm going to click on this first one here. So you can see here that I'm already signed in with my account of under jgreenfi at utk.eu. That's my that's my work email address. If I wasn't signed in, uh, then I would go, or if I didn't have a Google account, then I would go to a, a, a window that would just ask me to sign up. It's very easy to sign up. If you don't have it, you've got to have a Gmail account, but you can change it to default to your work email address so you know how to ch uh, sign in each time. Uh, but it's very easy. So if you don't have an account, just go to Google Docs. It'll prompt you there to sign up. Uh, just follow the prompts and, and you will be good to go. So you see here I've got two already created and this was just me playing around earlier. So I'm not going to utilize any one of those. In fact, I am going to ch check both of these and just go ahead and delete those off of there. Yeah, move to trash. Okay, so I'm starting here with a blank slate. So I'm going to go over here to the Create button and I'm going to ask it to create a form. Okay, so up here we've got untitled form, so I'm just going to type in test survey. Okay, and then in this box, uh, just some information about the survey. Please take a moment. So I just typed in, please take a moment to complete our survey. I know they're watching this video, it's a little hard to read exactly uh, what I am writing. So on the question one, I'm just going to, just making up a survey here. Is it sunny outside today? And if I want to put some help text just to kind of give some people an idea of what I was asking, or if you were having folks rate something one to five, you may want to put in this help text that, that one is, is better, five is the worst, or whatever it may be. So for my first question here, I'm going to go, go ahead and select multiple choice. So option one, since this is a yes or no, is just going to be yes. And then click in here to add option two is going to be no. And I want to make all of my questions required so everybody answers them. So uh, that's not always the case, but in this case it is. I'm going to check that box and select done. So we see we've got one question up there. Now I want to select in this question two box. I just double clicked in there. So I'm going to ask how sunny is it so that we can get an example of adding some help text there. So how sunny is it? A scale of one to five. And in the help text I'm going to say one is very sunny and five is not sunny at all. And this help text just gives the user a little note of how uh, how what kind of answer or how I'm looking for an answer to be. So again, I'm going to have multiple choice. Option one is just going to say one. Add another option. It's going to be two. Another option is going to be three. Another option four. And then five. And again, I'm going to make this um, where they have to uh, make it a required question. Select done. Okay, so now I've got two. Now I don't have anywhere I can click down here to add another one, but if I go up here to the add item, and I'm just going to add a, let's see, I'm going to do a paragraph text. So this would be where somebody would type in their own answer. They would actually create their own answer here. So it's going to, uh, let's just ask, what is your
and we're just asking what is your favorite thing to do on a sunny day so I'm going to leave this paragraph text there select done so now we have three different type of or three different questions here uh, we've got a multiple choice we've got the, the multiple choice of one through five and then we've got just a paragraph text you can add if you go up here and you look you can add uh, a scale question um, which is pretty much what we did here in the second one you can add all kinds and and I'm just gonna leave it at these three I'll let you guys play around with it uh, we'll disregard that one I'll let you guys play around with it and if you have any questions we can work our way through it so now that this is done I am going to go up here to the boxes and select more actions and then one of the drop downs is going to be called embed so I'm going to select that and then I get this strange little code right here uh, which is called an iframe code and I'm going to right click it's already highlighted so I'm going to right click and select copy and then what I'm going to do is open up a notepad just a simple notepad and I'm going to right click and paste that code into this notepad now pay attention to this width and height and we'll visit that some more here uh, shortly so anyway now that I've got this done I'm gonna save as and I'm gonna leave it a text document I'm gonna save this on my desktop so that I know where to find it and I'm just gonna type in test this is the title of my um, document of my form and yes there okay next time uh, on the next session we're going to talk about actually creating the page on SharePoint uploading this in the in the place that it needs to go and then we'll complete this with the third session where we actually publish this form uh, to where people can see it